guys, just want to show you my electronic brake in action. You can see it's spinning there now. So I'm just trying to keep it in frame. And I activate it. Watch it. You see it's come to complete stop. I'll release it again. You can see it building up. Alright, I'm going to activate it again. As you can hear the winds picking up. It's not all right down. You see the shadows on the pole slowing down. Um, currently the wind is around 20 mile per hour, 25 mile per hour. Right. I'm going to re-release it. That's the shadows on the pole. No. And I'm going to break it again. Sorry about that. Everyone that has a turbine that is three phase should have an electronic brake hardwired into the cables. And I'll put a video up to show you how to do that. This is the way I installed it so you want to see the shadow now once you get a link there and lock it in so you're locked in there and locked in there and there's the straps that go around Going to study. There's a view from my house, the very top of it. It's a lovely clean air up here. That's my hand just to stop the sun. Right, let's see. Let's just show you how it works, guys. So she's nice and straight, no wobbles, and she's actually on a break now, so she won't spin. And then the cable just runs along here. This is only temporary for the time being, and I was out around the side. I have just crossed the three phases from the supply of the wind turbine, and it's in a contactor. So when I like release that, releases the contactor and it's free to spin that's my little daughter there 
and when I press it, it crosses the phases again on the contactor and then it just acts as a brake. Very simple and effective use. Okay guys, that's it. Just show you how it works. My little fingers here won't get out of it.